In this tutorial, I want to show you how to combine photography back into your Photoshop files, but also show you the nature of how to cut out the backgrounds of a photograph by using clipping masks. So we're going to do that on a little game package. So I'm going to go to File and Open. I've navigated out to my Chapter 9 folder, 9.0, Clipping Mask. And I'm going to open up the package design right here game package for a computer chess game. Okay, so we want to show one of the chess pieces right here in this space. So I'm going to go to the layer called your photo here. And if you want a photograph to be embedded, to be a permanent part of this file, like it says, embedding photos, you're going to go to file and place and you're going to pick one of the chess pieces, whether it's the king, the knight, or the rook. doesn't matter. I'm going to pick the knight. Okay, again, under your options, make sure there are no check marks. If it says link, you won't be able to embed the photo. You're going to link the photo, so turn that off. I'm going to place that, and then I'm going to click and drag. I want it to be about this size right in here. Okay, it might even go bigger when I'm done because most of that was background. And I don't want to show the background. I just want to show the chess piece. So I'm going to click outside with my black arrow. D for default colors. And I don't want to trace a black outline around a black shape. So I'm going to click this curved arrow. So I have a white stroke. I'll click on the black fill. Hit the question mark key. And I'm going to zoom in on this real close. Okay, my first step is to trace the outer edges of this knight. So I'm just going to start right here and let me double click on the right and change the anchor points to red so we can see them more clearly. And we'll just pick a random starting point. I always start from corners here. Click and drag up. Option key for a corner and click, click. Option key for a corner and click and drag. We'll go up to there. Option key for a corner and I'll click and drag and drag and drag and drag. Option key for a corner and we'll click and drag up to there. Option key. I got a lot of corners on this guy. Option key and drag. Option key and drag. So, you know, whatever chess piece you're choosing go ahead and take a few minutes just to trace it out like I'm doing here and when I'm done I'm going to show you the end result so you know if you want to pause this or just let this video run while you're drawing your own I'm going to keep going all the way around the edges of the shape I want a complete outline of this figure option key for a corner and come down Option key and go out. Option key and come down. Option key and go out. Corner, corner, corner. Lots and lots of corners. Go down to there. Go down to there. Option key and come down. Option key and come down. The green felt at the bottom of this chest piece. Go all the way across the bottom. And we'll come back up. Option key for a corner, option key for a corner, and option key to end at a corner. So that is the first goal. Okay, if you want to pause this video while you're out drawing your own, that's fine. If you've got a few bumps, you can take your white arrow and just kind of fix a few of these little bumps in the drawing if it needs it. Just so you get a good tracing. Because this tracing is basically like the path your scissors would take if you were to cut out a photo. So this white outline that I've traced is my cut line. Everything inside the outline is going to stay. Everything outside the outline is going to disappear in a second. Okay, so again, pause this. I'll wait for you. And then when you got your tracing, you can come back. And I'll just say, hey, welcome back, okay? I'll pretend like you paused it. So welcome back. You've got your tracing. What you need to do is simply take your black arrow, click once on the photo, and shift click the tracing. You got to have 
both objects, the photo and the tracing. And all you have to do is object menu, clipping mask, make. All the areas outside your tracing are gone. All the areas inside your tracing have now masked out your object. So even though the photo is big, I can take my black arrow and click, take my free transform, click right here at the top to constrain so I do not distort the chest piece. And if I held my option key, I can keep it centered, but enlarge it like that. Then we have that filling out the space right there. Perfect. So now that is how you do a clipping mask here in Adobe Illustrator. You embed the photo, trace out the contents of what you want people to see, select the photo and the tracing, object, clipping mask, and make. And keep in mind, this entire photo is still there. See, if I clicked on this and said object, clipping mask, and release, it's all still there. So I could just reset that again. Object, clipping mask, make. Save this one as last name, first name, chess, and move on to the next tutorial. But that's, in a nutshell, how you do clipping masks.